There is some concern about food becoming scarce due to a growing population, weather patterns, and higher demand. But experts say GMO food technologies can help keep up with the demand. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto has more. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says by 2050, we will need to produce 60% more food to feed a world population of 9.3 billion. A report by UNL's Clayton Uters Institute says farmers can fill the gap with help from biotechnology. That was a consensus message from panelists in agriculture, business, government, law and academia during a summit at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. Innovation um, is crucial and that has something to do with innovation when it comes to seeds um, and the technology that is used to develop seeds that farmers use to plant the crops they grow. The summit panelists say to keep up with food demand, farmers need help from Congress and federal regulators. Um, now and for the future, agricultural bi biotechnology continues to increase, um, um, but trade policies have not necessarily um, caught up with that, and so we wanted to discuss where the future might head. Local farmers say innovation has been a game changer and is key to keeping up with the high demand of food. Um, the way Tom and I farm is not the way my dad farmed, and that's not the way his dad farmed. Um, we're fifth generation Nebraska farmers and we consider we see changes all the time. Peterson says these changes have made farming more sustainable. GMOs have been a great way for us to um, be able to use less water, less chemicals. The Institute's report says a challenge is that food companies profit from selling non-GMO labeled food at higher prices. The panelists say without regulations, the future of global food security could be put at risk. Reporting in Lancaster County, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News.